darkness. It's a spirit. You see a man sleeping with you. It's a spirit that is depositing things in your stomach. So now you are beginning to feel pains here. Yes. Huh? Yes. You are beginning to feel pains here. Yes. And these pains are bothering you because you don't know what is there. Yes. Touch there. It is, it's a spirit, this thing. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. Come out! Come out! Remove this thing. Remove it. Remove. Can you see what she's doing there? Remove now. Remove this thing. Can you just come here? They blocked your womb, Mama. This lady. They blocked your womb. They come. You are like this lady now. You have got the same challenge. They block. You feel yes. also. There is something here. moving inside. Huh? Something is moving around. Something here. is moving here. Yes. They blocked your womb too. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on, demon! Leave this womb! You demon. All of them, they've got the same problem. Remove your things! Remove! What are you doing? What are you doing, speaker? Remove your things! So that's what I'm saying, my brother. Come. You see, come and see what your wife she's doing. Uh, because sometimes she feels like she's beaten by stroke. I know. You know? Yeah. You know that? What is that you know? What is she saying? He's saying sometimes at night she will feel the other side numb. Like numb. Yes. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. this, my brother. God is going to give me a baby boy. Um. Come on! In Jesus' name. Tell us your name and where you come from. My name is Sister Masangu. I stay at Captain Park. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? I receive a prophecy today. Uh, Pastor, he said to me, I have a pain in my stomach. Yes, I, yes, it is, if, yes, it is true. I have a pain in my stomach. For how long have you been having this pain? Two years back. How was it affecting you? It's a mistrusion sometimes. Yes, it's a mistrusion. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, how are you feeling? I am feel very well, very well and I am happy. Any words of encouragement to those that are watching? I tell some people, can you come at charity, you receive a prophecy and I am happy now. Amen. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? Uh, um, my name is Jane Soro. I'm coming from uh, Winnie Mandela, but originally from Limpopo. The man beside me is my husband. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? 
the prophecy I received today, they did say I have a, a problem with my womb. So I confirm it to be true because there is something that has been moving around my womb. But I, I was not aware that it's a serious thing. This lady, they blocked your womb, they come. <laughs> you are like this lady now. You have got the same challenge. They block, you feel yes. also. There is something here. moving inside. Huh? Something is moving around Something here. is moving here. Yes. They blocked your womb too. In Jesus' name. So today I believe as they did have a chosen me between all those uh, congregations, I believe is the solution for my problem. And for how long have you been experiencing this pain? It's about uh, 12 years because I've been trying to get a child, but nothing. And how was it affecting you? It affects me because sometimes I will see uh, some other uh, uh, women like me carrying children, especially as a married woman. So it is it, affecting my family. And Baba, can you tell us how were you dealing with the situation that your wife was facing problems in her stomach and you were not able to bear children together? Uh, firstly, I can confirm what it is. He said when he was prophesying her, because it's what we, we, we have been living in that problem for almost that. She's already saying it's more than 12 years because we are married for, for 13 years now. Then we are struggling to get a child, you see. So it has been affecting our family. But today I'm relieved and I'm happy because at least they did, did pray for her. Yeah. And how, how was it affecting you? P -p Personally... I will say as a man, because uh, when you get married, obviously at the end of the day you expect to uh, have children. So it was difficult for me to accept. However, however because uh, I was known that we, we are struggling because we normally, we have already come from hospital because even in the hospital they did say they want to operate here, but at the end of the day when we started to attend the church, then the operation was stopped. So that is the miracle of God. Yeah. And Mama, how do you feel that God has located your challenge today? I'm happy, and so I'm, I'm very happy. I don't even know what to say, but what I can say, I can say I thank God for revealing uh, my problem, and I believe it's solved already. Amen. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? The, the encouragement to the viewers is that those who have a lot of problems, those who are suffering, Charis is very, very simple. You just come to Gaudi and Winnie Mandela. That is where you'll get Charis. That is where your problem will get solved. Simply. Uh, uh, for me, I can say to all women all around who are watching me, please give God chance. I've been waiting for about 12 years in marriage. And then I, I went to the hospital. There was no solution except uh, uh, operation. But what surprised me when I come to church and... Uh, give daddy my problem, he prayed for me. When I go back to hospital again, everything was solved. So I believe today when I come back, I believe uh, the coming three to four months, I'll be coming back with a testimony, the great one. Amen.